What's up, everyone? We're back. Home Slice is back. What? Uh, I'm Brad. This is Travis. Today we will be comparing the Buzz, the Truth, and the Emac Truth. Enjoy. So when it comes to rims, these guys are all pretty similar. Um, this is the truth. As you can see, it's got a bead. Um, it's relatively sharp, but not too, too bad. It's very comfortable. When it comes to the Emac, it's also sharper, sharper than the Buzz. It also has a bead. feels identical to me, to the truth. The Buzz is uh, not as sharp with the rim, therefore it's probably not as fast, and it has no bead. Alright, so the Buzz is a pretty straight disc for me. Uh, I did notice a lot of difference in the different plastics. The ZFLX was a little less stable than the rest of them, um, but the Elite Z and the FLX, those, those both, if I put a little bit of an ante on them, uh, they would normally fight out of it uh, into a slight headwind that it would flip up and then it would, it would normally fight out at the end. Um, if, if there's a pretty big headwind, it's not going to come out of it. Alright, so the Truth is a little bit less stable than the Buzz, at least for me. Um, I did get some more distance on it than the Buzz, but I found it to be a little bit less predictable. Um, sometimes it would fly pretty straight, and then other times, uh, if I got a little bit more power on it, it would, it would turn over and it wouldn't come out of it. Uh, so the Buzz, I think, was a little bit more predictable. Um, the truth, I didn't notice as many differences in the plastics, though. For me, the Emac was a little bit more stable than the truth, which is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, it was more similar to the Buzz. Uh, the Emac might be just a hair more stable than the Buzz. Um, it, tend, it seemed to fight out of the, that Annie a little bit better. Uh, and I think I got a little bit more distance on it. Um, and again, like the truth, I didn't notice as many differences between the plastics. Alright, for me, uh, I'm a higher arm speed, so it wants to flip up for me, especially into headwinds. Um, so anyone that throws the disc pretty fast, pretty hard, it's gonna, you're going to need to hyzer this. Um, other than that, it's a pretty predictable disc, it wants to fade out. Forehand. It's slower, therefore it's going to turn and burn, and uh, if you do have a touch forehand, it will work for you. The truth for me is a little unpredictable, especially in winds. Um, this is a good disc for tight wooded shots, hyzer flips that end right for me. As you can tell, that one just turned and burned. Um, forehand, it's a little faster than the Buzz, so it will take a forehand, but very touchy forehand. You can see that one faded out. That one I really ripped out and it turned and burned. And um, that one was, uh, it did turn and burn as well. So you have to be very touchy. The Emac Truth is uh, quite a bit more stable than the regular Truth and very similar to the Buzz. I'd say the Buzz is just a little bit more understable. Um, very good for hyzer flip to flat and still fades out or flat to anhyzers. It just, you know, it just keeps going to the right. Um, great disc in the headwinds. Uh, forehand, it's also a great disc. You can put some, some whip, some speed on it and it will fade out. Here it's a little beat end Emac so it did turn a little bit more than I'd like but it still faded out. You're probably wondering at this point, which disc do we bag? Well, I bag the Emac Truth. It's stable, it's great in the headwind, uh, good for tunnel shots. I've beaten them in. I once bagged a Truth because it was understable, but now these Emacs that I've, you know, they have a lot of wear and tear, they do flip. I also can forehand it. Um, it's good if you have a finesse forehand. If you have a, like an ultimate background, you shouldn't have any issue forehanding this. What'd you think? Um, I bag a buzz and I have for quite some time. I tried the truth. I thought it was gonna be a little bit less stable than it really was. Um, and like I kind of said in the video, um, 
it just isn't very predictable. Sometimes it would be as understable as I wanted it to, and other times it just it would be a straight disc that kind of faded out, just like the buzz. Um, so I took the truth out, and now my buzz fits between my evidence, which is less stable, uh, which is kind of what I wanted the truth to be, and a buzz OS, which is the more stable. It's between the evidence and my verdict right now. Um, it's a perfect complement to those discs. If you have a verdict, you should probably get an Emac Truth or vice versa. Um, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.